We're of course continuing to follow the aftermath of that destruction from last night in Grand Rapids. Now, the city will fall under a curfew that is going to go into effect in just a few minutes. 1390 Emma Nicholas is live in downtown Grand Rapids. Emma, what are you seeing there now? Yeah, that's right, guys. Uh, I'm on division right now, and as you can see, there is a large police presence as they're preparing for this curfew that will go into effect in about 15 minutes. And there are people out. I mean, the, the crowds, there's not been a crowd, obviously, like the thousands of people we saw yesterday at all, but there have been people out, uh, whether that was enjoying the day or, or walking around with signs. And, and there still are quite a few people out here just in this downtown vicinity that we're seeing. Uh, police reminding them that this curfew goes into effect in 15 minutes, at which point everyone does need to be home through 5 a.m. unless it's for something like traveling for work or for an emergency. Uh, and just again, I was here this time yesterday and it's obviously a completely different scene and in 15 minutes it will need to be desolate. Uh, and talking more about last night, it was, you know, something that Grand Rapids hasn't seen in, you know, decades and so it's spurred something. Obviously, this curfew and, and the response has been uh, really incredible to watch today. Uh, and we heard from Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Lieutenant Garland, Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist today. And I want to share that with you, uh, what they had to say just about the, the protests that we've seen unravel uh, around the country. I'm angry, not at the peaceful demonstrators who largely convened thoughtfully with the conviction of their cause. I'm angry at the people who are abusing this pain to further their own agendas. Those that came into communities of color under the guise of support, but who instigated violence and vandalism. They'll leave the community they say they are supporting. They'll go home and it will be black businesses and communities that will be destroyed in their wake. That's right. And, uh, you know, we're out here still and there is crowds that are diminishing, but uh, just a reminder that that curfew does go into effect at seven o'clock and it is a misdemeanor that could result in fines or jail time. Uh, so be home if that's where you are supposed to be at this time. Uh, we'll check back in with you all closer to seven o'clock. I'll send it back to you. All right, Emma, thank you so much.